at ACWA for a self-defense class from Justin Everman. He is the founder and CEO of ACWA. Welcome, Justin. Thank you. All right, so today's world, it just seems like there's less peace and more chaos. We need to learn how to be aware and to defend ourselves. What made you start ACWA? Well, I had looked into a lot of different systems in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd studied and tried to find something that solved today's problems. And, uh, and even trying the traditional martial arts or trying sport martial arts, they all had pieces of things that worked. But as a whole, nothing really solved the problem for the normal person that they could learn in a small amount of time that would keep them safe, that dealt with today's problems. There are a couple of things you were sharing with me that we innately do wrong. Yes. Just our posture alone. Yes. Okay, so there's five of them. Let's go through what are some of the five... Five things that we can do right now to be safer immediately. Sure. sure. Okay. One, one of them is the communication you have with other people. Okay. We all stand or we lean over. We have our body position in a certain way. Right. So we won't want to give off I bad signals. Yeah. This. So we, if, you, if you cross your arms in this manner, you're closing yourself off, but you're also not able to use your arms. Someone can trap your arms and so they could hit you or attack you, but you wouldn't be able to respond. Simply taking and unleaving them so that they're independently being able to move means that I, I can't stop both arms this way. Ah. So you're not trapped. Okay. Another thing is balance. If you, if you okay. cross your feet. I know. I do that a lot. <laughs> I cross my feet and turn them in. Okay. And that's very normal. Lots of women do it. I mean, it's very, very normal. And it's a bad habit, honestly. All someone has to do is step on your foot and push on you in the head, and you'll fall over. And you're down. And now you're down. And so that's when you start to figure out that you just fell over. And then that's when you figure out you're in a self-defense situation. And that's a bad place to begin. Yeah. On the ground is a really bad place really to bad, start. Bad, bad place to start. Okay. Uh, another one is uh, a lot of people are taught, oh, just knee the guy in the groin. The, hey, I was taught that. <laughs> everybody is. And, and the problem with that is when you pick one of your feet up right. and they have both feet on the ground, all they have to do is snatch your leg and sweep your other leg. And then you're Knock down. Knock you down. And then once again, you're starting on the ground. Okay? All right. So the other thing that we like to do with myth busting is talk about the keys. People hold keys in their hand very incorrectly a lot of times. So when we're going to our car late at night Correct. or it, actually in today's world, anytime. anytime. Right. Crazy. Right. So a lot of times what they'll show is they put the keys. By the way, this takes a lot of time. Between your fingers. Between your fingers. So if you put keys between your fingers, the problem is if you were to hit something solid, this will compress oh. and potentially break your finger. Are you willing to hit the floor or hit a concrete wall like this? And people say, no, it's gonna, I know it'll hurt my fingers. Nowhere in life do we put things between our fingers normally. No. A better way is just to have something, it doesn't matter what it is on here, put it in your hand solid so you have something on top and something on bottom, and all you have to do is hammer with it. Very visceral motion to get somebody to go away. Another thing is, everybody has a cell phone these days. I, I, I live with my cell phone in my hand. Yeah. If you do have a cell phone and someone grabs you or, or you know, tries to attack you, this is a good impact weapon as well. Used in the same manner as we had with the keys. You can just hammer away with it. It has an edge. Okay. All right. What's the next good tip? One of the things is everybody seems to have a water bottle these days. Whether you're leaving the gym with a water bottle or you're just having, well, everybody just has water. Well, it's, 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 just, it's just normal. You, it's hot. You, I literally have three water bottles in my car right now. It's like you've got to constantly hydrate. Yeah, you do. And it's a good tool as well for us. Okay. Oh. So just on a water standpoint, if you're leaving the gym per se and you have a little bit to get to your car, okay, okay. take a swig of water, just keep a little bit in your mouth. When you get in your, unlock your car, swallow it. No big deal. If someone grabs you on the way there, turn, spit it in their face. Spitting at somebody is a very, uh, it's insulting in any language, in any, in any part of the culture of any. I never even thought of that, and it's right there. They turn away, they'll turn their face, you have an opportunity to run. To if I run. can buy you five or six feet, if I can buy you 10 seconds, whatever I can to make you a harder target for somebody, it's gonna be surprising, and that's gonna help you. So. Okay, so the goal with self-defense, the real goal with self-defense is to one or two moves Something that are going to allow you time to get away. Yes, you're trying to buy opportunity because our goal is what? To get you home safe. Uh, That's it. Or to get you anywhere safe where you can call 911. Exactly yes. right. Exactly oh, my right. goodness. Okay, so you have classes. Yes. You have group classes. Right. And really, your whole mentality of your classes is real-world defense. So tell me some of the things that you guys can do here that you wouldn't find at other studios. Okay, so a lot of times what you'll teach in other studios is everything is on mats. And in the real world, we don't find mats. No. No. We I'm don't. in parking, I'm yeah. in parking mm -hmm. lots, right. I'm sure. You've never seen a mat outside. No. Okay, so we got to teach people how to receive the ground in a natural way. Because if you fall, you don't want to be injured right away, right? So oh. we wear shoes. We wear real world clothing, jeans and a t-shirt is how we train. It's how we live. We have to understand how we move in those situations with a normal outfit on. So it wouldn't be dressed up in any formal gear. And right. There's no traditional mindset on that this way. Okay. Okay. And so you using anything that's at hand. One of the classes that I was so glad that you teach is about bullying. You train kids because I've I just 
everywhere you turn, there's a story about kids being bullied. And yeah. I think in today's times, parents are so busy, they're not giving them the education they need to feel safe or confident physically with themselves. Tell us a little bit about your bullying classes. We realize that a lot of the kids don't have the tools, just even the verbal tools, to yeah. deal with the conflict de-escalation. So their only default is just hit each other. And, that, and that's not the right thing. And that just makes it worse. And it just makes it worse. So we concentrate on giving the kids, just like we do with adults, tools that are both mental and physical, just in case. And we also talk about abductions and all that kind of stuff where kids are kidnapped. We try to give the kids tools to help them out of these bad situations. And then when they feel more confident because they have those tools, they're less likely they're to get They're less likely to have a problem in the first place. I love that. Why don't we bring in uh, one of your female instructors, sure. which I love that you have female Definitely. instructors, and you can show us a couple of quick moves. Sounds good. Okay. One of the positions we have is when somebody crosses their arms. So Stephanie's gonna show here how the arms are crossed, and Mark's gonna put his hand on it, try to stop her from moving, and that's a problem. And so that's one of the issues we have. We want to fold the arms. That way, if you were to stop an arm, Mark will show, she has an independent hand to do anything she needs to. The way you stand plays a big part in how you're balanced in the real world and if you're selected as a target. A lot of people have the bad habit of crossing their legs. Stephanie's showing how her legs would be crossed here if she's just standing there. Mark can see this, steps on the foot and just pushes the head and she'll fall right over. That's a position we don't want to have happen to us. So Stephanie stands up, if she has her legs just normally placed, this is not an opportunity anymore. One of the most common movements you get taught as a woman is just, just to knee the person. Unfortunately, we all know this movement here as guys, and it puts her on one foot, which means that she'll probably hit the ground. The best place to use this, she creates space with her hands here. If I were to come into her and grab her, she drives this in, touches the face, that's when the knee can be driven in. We're going to show you some mechanics here that anybody can do. I've got Mark here in a high gear suit, so Stephanie doesn't knock him out, essentially. Okay, so she's going to create some space here with her hands. We call this the fence. This doesn't allow him to get too close. Stay back. Okay. Moving on from this, if he takes a swing, she'll respond to it. Not by running backwards, because in sports, you don't run backwards. You lose all your football games. You go forwards, because that's where your energy is. So she's going to cover her head and come forwards. This drives the energy into him. From there, she's going to push her hands up into his face. And we're going to do this again now at a little faster speed. Stay back. One more time. Stay back. So if you want to be more aware, more prepared, or just more self-confident in your personal safety or that of your kids, check them out online at www.acwacombatives.com. Dot com. They've got a great group of classes, including Disco at Night. I mean, you really want to check this out. They get you really prepared in the real world for real safety. Thank you so much, Justin. No problem. Ah!